I run a company called Gamification Plus. I'm a director at Wildwood Public Relations. I'm new business director at Oban International. Haven Hope is a leading employee communications agency. My top tips for businesses looking to export, I would firstly encourage everyone to view the world as borderless. It's all one great big opportunity. Go and find high quality partners in different countries or regions of the world, ones who already have the best customers, and then work with them. So you're always starting at the top. Do your research and understand your audience. Particularly from a digital marketing perspective, there's tons of data out there that you can use to really inform your strategy. The government is going to give you plenty of help at the moment because of what's going on with Brexit and everything else to do with where the economy is post-pandemic. All the information you need is there online on the really helpful government sites. There, there, is, there is nothing unavailable to you, so it's just about doing your research. Google search, trends data, social media data um, and other sources that you can use to really understand your audience and build a profile of how you can reach them in the best way. Be sure about your own business. Make sure you understand where you're coming from, what you're selling and you need to be even clearer about that when you're going into an overseas market where the culture might be slightly unfamiliar. Culture affects everything from how people might interpret and engage with your brand right through to where they might choose to buy and actually how they purchase. So it's really fundamental to think about how you would actually market to a particular audience and what makes them tick. We speak the international language of English, so you're already at an advantage there, but do make an attempt to flatter people by learning a little bit of their language because they really, really appreciate that. Currency, make sure in your pricing you cover for fluctuations of exchange rates because that can come and bite you on the bum later. Make sure you check out VAT. That got us. For the first six months, we were merrily sending invoices out to the US and then they all came flying back because they didn't understand what VAT was. We'd put them on without thinking. Check out the VAT rules. It's all online, just check it out. So is it harder since COVID and Brexit? The short answer to that is yes, it is. We're in a place for business where there's lots of uncertainty. It feels tough in the home market, let alone beyond the home market. Much of what we delivered was in person. So we've had to pivot and do things a bit differently. I've spoken to peers who, who maybe spent a month, had a month of wobbling about different types of shipping. They just powered through, they, they found a way around it. I think the environment for projecting outwards is actually better than you might initially think. You've got to get beyond that negativity. You've got to think positively and you've got to look at where the opportunities are. The outlook now is very positive and for us it hasn't actually made very much difference. The place where we went for help was our bank actually. Go and ask the DIT for help. The, the Department of Trade, the Chamber of Commerce. They'll set up, generally speaking, some really great warm introductions for interesting people. Peers as well. Phone up people, like-minded people and say, hey you're exporting, how do you do it? What should I look out for? Working in export markets is exactly as it is in your home market in so many ways. Once you get a foothold in an export territory, word of mouth is still just as important as conventional marketing. Currently, there's no need to travel, so you can create real relationships just online as I'm talking to you now. It's just, okay, so we do it this way, they do it that way, how do I get from A to B? It's a bit like getting, I don't know, some cheese from Cornwall up to Aberdeen. Businesses buy from businesses, people buy from people. Doesn't matter where you are, who you are, what you're doing. If you've got the right product, got a compelling business story to tell, you can still appeal to companies wherever they might be based. There will be people who absolutely fit your business. And when you find those people, they will bend over backwards to make sure they can get your product and service. So to anyone interested in expanding their business internationally, I'd say that a massive opportunity exists out there and all you need to do is do your research, make sure you properly localise and through doing that you can ensure that you're going to reach the right audience with the right message at the right time. Be ambitious, look at, look at your own business, look at what you know and go for it. Because you've got nothing to lose.